today we've been covering some of the new functionalities of Dynamics 365. This is with the 8.2 release that's just come out and we'll be covering some filtering activities and how to set sort order on them. For this demonstration we're going to use the account entity so if we go into sales and then accounts and we're just going to pick the first active account on our list. You'll see that we have the little filter icon now on the list. So there's quite a few different activity types we have here. So if we just filter on them, we now have a list of all the different entities we have. We can uncheck them all at once. And we can tick the phone call to see all the phone calls. We can use any appointments. You can see filter on and off tasks that we have as well we can bring them all back so a quite simple way of filtering down quickly if you have somebody on the phone who has told you that they phoned up three weeks ago say if you haven't a crawl back right through all of the different activities you can say right let's just have a look at all the activities that were phone calls and bring them back quite quickly now the second part is how we can sort these activities so if we edit the form and then go into the activities you can see your default tab, which we'll just leave at activities. We've got a standard formatting, which looks the same, and we have the activity wall. So we can now sort the activity wall by actual end date, so when the task was completed, and then order by either ascending or descending order. So if we save and then publish, we can now refresh the form. Once the form is loaded, we'll then see that the activities are now sorted by actual end date. While we're in here as well, you can also resort it yourself just using the, the sort button. But you'll see there, sort by actual end date descending. Now hopefully these two new bits of functionality will help you go forward with your business.